Okay, so this is this is where most people fell in in Facebook advertising is because they don't they don't they don't do the proper setup. Custom audiences need to be set up first before you even run an ad, because here's what a custom audience is: as you start to run ads to let's just say your landing page, whatever your landing page is, or even a website, but let's just put it let's just say landing page. When you start running ads to this page. Out of 10 people who land here, they see your Facebook ad, they're scrolling through, and all of a sudden they see a sponsored ad. They're seeing this guy, they click on download, they come to your page. And see, look, this guy, if I click on download, look, he's bringing me to his landing page. Let me just use him as an, as an example. I click on download, I see his Facebook ad, I click download, he brings me to a landing page. On this landing page, up here, he has his Facebook pixel. That's number one. So we got to install the Facebook pixel on the new Karcher pages. That's number one. But here's number two. Here's audiences. So coming back over oh. here. Wait, 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 hold on. Coming back over here to audiences. Here's what custom audiences are and why they're so important. As I saw his Facebook ad, as I clicked on it, and as I came here, out of 10 people that come here, you're going to have anywhere from you're going to have anywhere from anywhere from 6 to 8 let's just say 7 out of 10 people who come here seven of them are going to leave three of them are going to actually download it and those are phenomenal numbers it don't matter what business you're in it's all the same if i can have 3 out of 10 people give up their information every time they land here i'm going to be a rich person that's fine. Even one out of 10, even one out of 10, you would be, you'd be crazy wealthy one out of 10, but let's just use, let's just use the number at seven out of 10 people that come here, seven of them leave for whatever reason, for whatever reason, maybe, maybe the food was burning on the stove. Maybe the kids were screaming. Maybe, maybe I was driving and I couldn't type, but I'm, I'm, I'm on my Facebook and I'm seeing what people are doing. Like everybody is doing on their phone while they're driving, messing around. Well, let's say for whatever reason, I come here and I leave. Those seven people who left are now inside of a custom audience. So what this guy is going to be able to do is when he goes and runs his next ad, he's going to tell Facebook, target the people who are in my custom audience who left my page and didn't fill out the form. That's a custom audience. That's what I call, that's what I call not leaving crumbs on the table. Those people saw your ad. There was some type of interest. First of all, they're targeting you. Second of all, you clicked. But the fact is, you just didn't fill out the form. But you 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 still had to have an interest. There's no way you would have you would have got this far. So what he did is he created a custom audience of everyone who lands on this page that's custom audience number one custom audience number two let's say for example a person let's say the three people out of, again out of ten you have seven people who left three people who actually filled out the information uh -huh. the three people who filled out the information they then go to this next page which is what we call a thank you page and that's what you have set up in your Karcher account. You have the thank you page as well. Mm -hmm. This is what we call a thank you page. So I went to the landing page, the three out of 10, filled out the form, and then they came to this page right here. This page right here also has a Facebook pixel, and he's also tracking it under lead. So what he was able to do is he set up a custom audience. He also set up a custom conversion under lead. So now here's why this is so important. The three people out of 10 that land here, these are people now in my custom audience. So when I go run Facebook ad number two, I need to make sure that I, that I exclude this audience. Those three people out of 10, they no longer need to keep seeing my ad. I need to exclude them. So I tell Facebook, I say, hey, here is the link to my thank you page. Make sure anyone who lands here, 
is labeled lead inside of Facebook ads manager. And also make sure Facebook that you don't show these people any more ads. That, that right sense. there is the basics. And that right there is what everyone misses. And that right there is the most important because you don't want to keep running ads to the same people. You're going to spend way more than you need to. And you don't want people to keep seeing your same ad when they've already downloaded your 10 top 10 mistakes. Why do they keep seeing your same ad on, on it? They'll be upset actually. Heck yeah, they would be. I don't want to keep seeing the person's ad. I just bought their stuff. I just bought, I just bought the pair of Air Jordans. Why do I keep seeing the same damn ad on Air Jordans? I just bought yeah. them. I bought them last week. So those people will now go to, since they are now, they will go to nurturing. In other words, giving them a different type of uh, something, right? They are in my mailing list now. And I have them in my mailing list so I can start giving them something else. Oh, okay. yeah. You got it right. That's 100% exactly what goes on. I'm excluding them from ever seeing Facebook. So Facebook is one thing. Your email list is another. After I capture that lead, the three out of 10, now they're in my email list receiving emails. Now I'm talking about other services. Now I'm talking about my upsell program. Now I'm trying to get them to schedule an appointment. That happens, that happens through the email automation. That's why that's so important. We need an email autoresponder. We need a landing page. We need an email autoresponder. We need an online calendar because in that email sequence, in those email autoresponders, in those emails that are going out, my whole goal is to get you on the phone. I need to upsell you my, my, two, my $2,000 package. So click the link, schedule a call. Okay. Oh. But, 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 but as far as Facebook ad, I need, to be, I need to be able to tell Facebook that as well. I need to be able to say, hey, man, these are people who landed already. They're already leads. So just make sure, Facebook, that we don't keep showing ads to them. Mm. That okay. right there is custom audiences. Everyone okay. wants to run an ad, but they're not segmenting their audiences. And that's why they spend way more than they need to, and they don't ever capture a lead. I'm just so surprised. I am just so super surprised because apparently people know what they know and they're charging people, but you don't know that they are not helping you. I just found that out. Like, well, why am I getting the same email since I've already selected yep. John? Yep. And like you said, no custom, no conversion. No mm -hmm. custom segmentation, no conversion segmentation. Mm -hmm. And I'm supposed to just push the button and it goes. Yeah, it, it doesn't wow. go, right? That's what everybody does. They, they, they think they could just come here, here push the button, and, and, and everything's going to happen. It's like, no, it's not. Like, but I tell you what else, $500 a month is a lot of money for people. It is mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think that's the, re the main reason people don't do it is the money. It just depends on who you're going after. It depends on your audience. That's why as a business owner, you have to have your own niche audience. Yeah, to some people, a hundred bucks is a lot of money. But, but, yeah. but in your case, if you really think you're going to sell a $2,000 service, if you really think that, that the person that can't even afford a hundred bucks is going to buy your 2000 yeah, right. But you as a businesswoman, you're smart enough to know, yeah, it's not for everyone. That's, and, and not everyone is my market. I'm only going after people that are super serious about speaking and super serious about investing and super serious about having the money to even put up because my program that's, isn't cheap. 2000 that's not cheap. Yeah, that's really another challenge because um, I've been selling to mom and pop and they are consuming all my stuff, but it's not really serving me at all. But see, here's the thing. Having, having a low ticket, that's why that's so important as well. So your $47 program or whatever you have, low ticket, that, that, that is good to keep, to keep to, that, that's good to, to put food on your table, to tell you the truth. Like I have a bunch of little random things that keep food on my table, but it's my high ticket that is the home run hitter. And, and, and do we need everyone to buy the $2,000 product? No. Is everyone going to be able to afford it? No. Yeah. But, but these little $47 offers, the fact that you're building a brand, 
your video content is out. People are loving what you're talking about. And, and you got, you got a lot of people that are going to start buying the $47 product. You got to always be thankful for that because the $47 low ticket is going to put food on the table. Is it going to buy you that brand new seven series BMW? Maybe not, but, but that's our high ticket. Once we learn this and get this part going, and then we start building the audience, the people who are buying our $47 ticket, those are people who are now on our email list that we're going to build a relationship with via email automation and via email and via, and via Facebook advertising. We're going to be able to build this brand, which are going to build trust in a handful of people that are going to be willing to pay $2,000. And so also, you don't, I you're not about, you're, you're, uh, LinkedIn. Yeah, you yeah, but but the thing. Mm -hmm. you, you do add on LinkedIn. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Like you don't need to work. We're not there yet. Like l l this is all stuff that we got to cover first, and then and then you can get there. <laughs> but but at the okay. same time, like don't don't like 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 five hundred is is a lot for you, and two thousand is a lot for many others. So, yeah. so the good thing is, is that you don't need everyone. Like you don't need everyone, but, but what you do want to be thankful for are the, are the small tickets and building the brand and, and building the relationship with people. And, and again, a handful of people are going to be those ones that can afford it. And before yeah. you know it, like before you know it, you're, you're now running Facebook ads to the $2,000 program. And now you start selling one of those per day. Yeah. But you, you don't just start there right away. Right. You gotta, you want to build this you want to build the brand first, like build the brand, get the Facebook pixel going, get these custom audiences in place, start giving away that 10 to the top 10 mistakes, get people on your email list, start building an email list and getting people emails and nurturing that list. Keep doing what you're doing. That's why I keep telling you the only two things that we need today in my true humble professional opinion is Facebook advertising and landing page software. That is it. Like there's nothing else we need to be putting money in right now. Like at all, like at all. If we can do everything in one software, which I believe is Kartra, then we do everything out of that because I can't afford all these damn softwares, especially I got to okay. run Facebook ads. And then, and if I don't even know how to do that, I got to hire someone to do that. Like there's already too many expenses, okay. you know, start small, start with one thing at a time. You keep focusing on your video content. That's going to be the most important in this, in this you and I relationship that we have going on right now. It's that video content. It's that video With content. The video content that I'm doing, right? It's um anyway, when you go, when I do some, you'll be able to see it actually. And I'm gonna be doing my TV show, my interview today. Mondays at 4 p.m. is my interview every Monday at 4 p.m. Okay. So I'm gonna be doing that today. So so here here's here's a simple a simple um plan. Right when you got right when you get done with that, upload that to your Facebook business page. It goes to your Facebook business page and it goes to YouTube. Whatever else you want to do out of that, okay, whatever. But that's where it needs to go. It needs to be uploaded right away to Facebook business page and to your YouTube channel. What is it the strategy for that? Hey, man, you are so different because people tell you different things. What is your strategy for going to Facebook page? Running but a why? Facebook ad. Running a Facebook ad. Running, oh. running a Facebook ad. Okay, so that they can see it there. I got you. I got running, you. running a Facebook ad. Not just so they could see it there, so we can run a Facebook ad. So we can get thousands of people to see it a day. That's why. Like, like that, that, that's the only reason why. Because you're going to take that and post it on LinkedIn and seven people are going to see it. You're going to take that and post it on your personal page over here. You're going to take that video and you're going to post it on your, on your personal Facebook page over here. And you're going to have 700, 777, 6, 776. You're going to have all these people see it when only a handful are even your ideal client. So you take that content, you put it here where only, only seven, seven, six are going to maybe see it. And only a percentage of those, of those are even going to care. Uh -huh. And then you'll take that same video and put it on LinkedIn where it's the same thing. Uh -huh. But if I put it on my Facebook business page and uh -huh. run an actual ad, I can have 7,000 people see it by tomorrow. That's the difference. 
And if I put it on YouTube, then I can start, YouTube is your long-term play. Facebook ads, that's today. That's, that's our now play. That's our, that's our getting, getting 15,000 people to see it by Friday play. Like that's our, that's our like fast play is Facebook ad. That's why it goes to the Facebook business page so we can run an ad on it. Every week, again, you're rolling out this weekly TV show or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. But all you're going to do is put it on social media, targeting people that are not even your ideal client. Mm -hmm. Like Vaughn ain't your ideal client. Ruben ain't your ideal client. Maybe these other females, but Terrence ain't. Sacone mm -hmm. ain't. Like, like these, like Corey, he ain't your ideal client. Roland ain't your, ain't your client. No. Yep. So it's like, why do I need all these pe people to see my, my video? They ain't mm -hmm. doing nothing for me. But if I, but if I run a Facebook ad and I target my ideal audience, I have a better chance. And if I so can get thousands of them to see it fast, I have a better chance. So then I think from talking to you, I see the need then for, if they are seeing my content that I do on my regular videos, right? My content on my regular videos, that will inspire them to look at versus putting it on here on Facebook and nobody's really looking at it. Exactly. Exactly. So when the video is on the, when the video goes on the business page and then we come over here and we run an ad on it and we're not going to spend a lot like the weekly, the weekly videos, are not necessarily the marketing video. It's not necessarily the video that we're running to get people to the landing page. That would be a different video. That could be like a one minute video. Hey guys, this is Christy. I just wanted to introduce myself and tell you about this, this, this top 10 mistake cheat sheet that I have available free for download. Let me tell you a little bit about this and what, and what, what it entails and why you're gonna wanna download your copy now. That could be like a one minute video that we run an actual real Facebook add on where we spend a little bit more on maybe a few bucks a day more, not a lot at all, but that's to get people to, to go to the landing page and download it. But the weekly, the, 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 what the, my vision, the way I'm thinking is the weekly interview, the weekly, every Monday video. Why not also run that as a Facebook ad, not spend a lot of money at all. Maybe, maybe run a couple, a couple dollars per day, maybe $2 a day but just get it out and get it out to the masses and let that video run every week. So this week, we're gonna run it for this week for seven days. Next Monday, you do another one, we run that one for seven days. The third week, you do another interview every Monday, we run that for seven days. So we're targeting our ideal audience, we're getting thousands of them to see you versus just your 776 over here on Facebook and none of them care, versus maybe the same amount that you have on LinkedIn and none of them care. But how do we get them to buy, to click the, I, 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 how is this getting me the conversion? You're going to start running ads on getting people to download your tip sheet. That's what, that's where it all starts. That it all starts there. The content that you should be putting out weekly evolves around the top 10 mistakes PDF. That's where it starts. You're not going to be running an ad to get people to convert at 1900. You're not even going to run an ad right now to get people to convert at $47. Unless you have an ad and you're saying, David, I got videos right now. I could sell you $2,000 product right now on a video. Okay, put out, put out that video and let me run an ad on it. But I'm willing to bet you don't have that video. I'm willing to bet you don't even have a video pitching me on your $47 product. Mm, so if you, if you don't got that, so to answer your question, how do we get people to convert? It's with that video. But I already know you ain't got that video. And I already know that if you put out a video in front of me right now telling me about a $2,000 product, I ain't going to buy it. I don't even know you. Not me personally. I'm talking about if I saw you as, if I saw you in my news feed, if you're a friend and all of a sudden you got this video on your Facebook, your Facebook personal page and you're pitching a $2,000 product, I don't even know you like that. So that's why it has to start with custom audiences. It has to start with rolling out weekly ads and getting people to know who the heck you are and giving them something for free First, it all starts. Our entire marketing campaign evolves around the top 10 mistakes. That's where it starts. I got to get you to my front door before I can get you to the backyard. Getting you to the backyard and taking you skinny dipping in my large pool, that's my $2,000 product. 
getting you to my kitchen, that's my $47 product. But how in the hell do I get you to my front door? I got to offer something of value and that better be free. Or else okay. I, ain't even to, I, I ain't even coming to the front door. Okay. So, so the I'm entire going to work for you to finish that, um, put in my new, let me know once you finish that and set it up right. And yeah. so that I can start, when I start tomorrow, beginning tomorrow, I'll do a video and I'll focus on that. And I, after, at the end, I'll say, click here to get my download for, yes. for top mistakes, new speakers make, and how you can avoid it. Th th those right there, those videos right there could be, could be a minute long, a minute long. Those, those call to action videos, those type of one minute videos is what we want to run every week. But what we also want to run is what I'm saying at a cheaper budget, a couple dollars per day. What we also want to run is the weekly interview. Because everyone who's watching the weekly interview is going to see our next ad. That's the audience. So as I was explaining, the audience, people who land on your landing page, those are website visitors. That's one audience. People who actually opt in and give up their name and information and go to the thank you page, that is the second audience. But there's okay. also a third audience of everyone who's watching your videos. Um, and I'm not talking about your friends on your personal Facebook page. No, I'm talking about the thousands that are seeing it because we're running an ad. That is a third audience. So as we start to run these weekly interviews, uh -huh. we get thousands of people to see it. That's an audience. These are people who are watching my stuff. That is an audience. That's a custom audience. And we label it TV videos or we name it video watchers. These people watched episode number one. That's the name. That's the specific name of the audience. People who watched interview number one. The second audience, people who watched interview number two. These are audiences. So now when we go run the conversion ad, hey guys, this is Christy. Let me tell you about my top 10 mistakes tip sheet that I want to give you for free. As we run that next ad, we're targeting all the audiences who watched your other videos. Mm, okay. Wow, the strategy. Wow, the strategy. The strategy. So if, I, if, I, if I'm over here, see, that's the thing. That's the thing about your personal page. That's, that's even the thing about putting the video on your business page and not running an ad. The difference is, is that over here, if I watch this, let's say this is a video, let's go down, actually, let's go down to your other video. Okay, look right here, perfect example. You had 26 people out of 700 people. And those 26 people aren't qualified. So here's the deal. This is what everybody does. They'll put that video, they'll go Facebook Live on their personal page and get 26 people to see it. But those 26 people to see it, how do we show them the next video? You can't, unless you post it here and maybe those 26 people may see the next video. But if that was an ad, if that was exact everything, nothing has to change. It's all the same thing, same text, same video. The only difference is, is that now it's an ad. Here's the difference. If that was an ad, that would have been 2,600 people all in my ideal target audience. It would have been 2,600. But here's what I'm saying about the audiences. Out of the 2,600, I'm going to be able to create a custom audience and name this custom audience people who watched video number one. Now when we go run the conversion ad, hey guys, this is Christy, and this is the one minute video. I just want to tell you all my top 10 mistakes. Let me, I'm going to tell you about this PDF that I want you guys to download. Who do you think is going to see that next ad? All the 2,600 who watched your previous video. What if we're on video number nine and we're, and we're tracking all this? So we got nine videos. We got tens of thousands of people who watched it. And all those people are in a custom audience. Guess what? When I run my next video talking about my top 10 mistakes, who am I going to target? The 50,000 people who watched all my last nine videos. 
And I can only do that because I'm tracking it through a Facebook ad. I couldn't do that if I posted it on my personal page or if I just posted on my business page and didn't run the ad. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. So when I post on my person on my page and it says it was it reached 30 people. It reached 100 people. Who how do they they select who to send it to, right? Or what? When you're just posting it and not running an ad? Yeah. Well, when you post anything here, it's, it, it, it's, it, it's supposed to be showing to, the, to your friends, the 700 no, people that you have. On my page, on my page. Yeah, on your business page. If we go to your business page, let's go to your page. And, and you just take that random video and you just post it without running an ad. Uh -huh. Over here, you have all these people that like the page now. 830, and, and that number is gonna, gonna go a little past 1,000. But at the same time, the likes, as I mentioned on our other call, that's not where our leads are coming from at all, at all at all, on anything, on any page. So as you start to put video out over here, let's go look at the video real quick. And this is just organic posting without running an ad. So we come over here and now, okay, I reached 58 people, eight people engaged in it, meaning eight people might have clicked on it. An engagement is anything that happens within it. So if I click on it, that's an engagement. That's your mindset. So the fact that I clicked on it, that's an engagement. But at the same time, it was 25 views. That ain't nothing. Like I need 2,500 a day. I can't do 25 a week. I need 2,500 a day. But here's my point. The people who view it, if that was a Facebook ad, you would have been able to retarget them with your next ad. Because you just posted it organically, you're not able to retarget the 25 people who watched it at all. You don't even know who the 25 people are. They could have been from anywhere, but, 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 but they watched it. And if they watched it, there obviously was an interest there. Now they didn't see a link to go to my landing page just yet mm -hmm. because we're still in the building a relationship phase. They're just seeing me, seeing me, seeing me, but I want them to keep seeing me, seeing me, seeing me. And how do I get them to keep seeing me, seeing me, seeing me? I create audiences and I run the next ad to them. I can't do that if I just post it organically. That's why posting organically doesn't do anything for you. Like you have to run an ad, whether it's a Facebook ad, whether it's an Instagram ad, whether it's a LinkedIn ad, whether it's a YouTube ad, whatever, because there's real analytics behind it all. The 25 people, let's just say this was an ad and 25 people watched it. Those 25 people need to see your next ad. How do you do that? You create an audience. You created a custom audience and you name that the 25 people who watched my last video. Then we go run the second ad and we make sure that we retarget all those 25 people. Then the third time, the third ad comes out, the third week, the third Monday, the third interview. Now we're going to run that ad to everyone who watched interview number one and number two. Then the fourth Monday comes around and that's another interview. Now we're gonna run that as a Facebook ad and target everyone who watched ad number one, two, and three. So all we're doing is we're staying in front of people who are watching your stuff. What does that do? That creates trust, like, and, 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 and the ability and the, and the willing to wanna to do business with you. If I keep seeing her and she keeps giving me amazing value and she's targeting me, and she keeps showing me a new video every week on what she does. I like this girl. You have to keep showing up in people's newsfeed, but you have to show up on a mass number, not 25 views. Okay. So the, the way you're talking now, and I'm getting, I'm really getting what's going on here, but it almost seems like I have to also have the budget. Oh right? yeah. You couldn't have said it better. You couldn't have said it better. I, I a budget because I'm selling $25 uh, membership. 
for me to be a, because I got a tag on, so if you go, we're running from now till November that I'm launching, relaunching, right? Yes. I'm doing from now till November and that will lead me into the launch. But see, I need to have thousands of people already in my qualified yes, yes. people to sell to yes. so that I can get to my 10% of whatever that yes. may be go. Otherwise, this and be able to deduct all these expenses and still yes. come up with something. But, but, yeah, but here's what I'm trying to tell you. Here's, here's the strategy. Uh -huh. The strategy is not to sell them anything up front. I know, I know. You're, you're, what you're selling right now is the free download. Correct. Once Correct. you get them in your system, once you get them in your world, once they come to your page and download that 10 top 10 mistakes, it's your emails that are selling them everything else. So all you need to do is put out weekly content, weekly videos, and give away that top 10 tips. That's all it's about. Don't tell me about no $47 product right now. Don't tell me about your $2,000 product right now. Don't, don't run an ad for any of that right now. That's why I keep trying to tell you, you have to get me to the front door. These are, you're targeting people that don't know you. We all are. They have to warm up to you. And that's why these audiences are so important. Because as people see one ad and you put them in a custom audience and then you show them another video ad and you put them in a custom audience and then you show them another video ad, that's brand recognition. If I keep seeing this person in my news feed, it's going to automatically strike a chord in my brain to want me to know what the heck she's even talking about. I'm going to want to, if I'm interested. So if you're targeting me, that's why right now when you put it out on your, or when you just put it on your personal pages, those people aren't even in your ideal audience. So what makes us think that any of those are going to be interested? What makes them think they're going to ever buy anything, especially when you only have 700? You got to take that to 7,000 if you plan on doing anything. On Instagram, you better have 70,000 people following you. On LinkedIn, you better have 17,000 connections if you're planning on just posting organically. But if you're nowhere near those numbers, you have to run an ad. 11 people viewed it, 16 people viewed it. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. You can't keep doing that. Those all need to be ads. I need 2,800 people viewing it per day. And again, I'm not selling them anything right now. I'm only giving them my top 10 tips. Once I get them to my front door, then I'm going to invite them to the kitchen where I have a $47 offer. Once we break bread and we're at the kitchen, and they buy that $47 product because they love the way I cook. Then I'm going to bring them to the backyard where everyone's skinny dipping and we're drinking all night. That's my $2,000 product. But I didn't, I didn't pitch them that up front. I gave them something for free at the front door. That's what made them want to walk in. That's my top 10 mistakes. So the entire Facebook ad campaign is all based around that. It's all about getting out these weekly videos for brand recognition. These weekly videos, the ones you're doing on Monday, that's, that's for brand recognition. They're not going to get to the landing page. They could, but they're, that's not really the objective with these weekly interviews. It's your other one. So what you're going to be doing, you're going to be doing two, two, two ads per week. And yeah, you kind of need to have the budget. But, but at the same time, we're not talking thousands of dollars just yet. We're talking, let's just say, let's just say, let just let let let's say let's say ten bucks a day. Let's say three hundred a month, which is what I said before. Start there. Go for the next four weeks and and plan on plan on budgeting three hundred for your Facebook advertising. And 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 in that is going to be two ads. I'm not going to be able to afford it. Why? Because that will reach me almost say how much. So I'm paying you five hundred a month, and then on my advertising that's like <laughs> i won't be able that's 800 and i can't even i just can't even afford it I so think then the we start smaller then we start smaller then yeah, i cannot afford no i cannot afford it at all so, so so we start smaller we start smaller let's get let's get these start so forget about the weekly video interview ad let's just start doing a short video one video per week one minute long on, on the top 10 mistakes download.
That's okay. what you should be doing. That's what you should be doing. That that's the ad is, is a one minute video on your cell phone or, or it could be the way you're doing it here on your computer with your webcam. It could be that way too. One minute talking about the top 10 mistakes and getting me to download that. And your whole call to action in that video. So if we come to the newsfeed, if we just look at any ad, let's look at a random ad. Um, let's see a random ad. Here goes an ad. Let's see. Here's an ad right here. Okay. Okay. Look, 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 look at this. Look at this. This is, this is what I'm talking about this whole time. Custom audiences. Because I visited the Kajabi page a few minutes ago, when I was telling you about all the different softwares that we were going to need, I went to Kajabi's website. Uh huh. Now, because they put me in a custom audience, so anyone who lands on the page, anyone who lands on the Kajabi page and who does not buy, okay, that's what I did. I came over here. This is what I showed you a few minutes ago. I landed on the page. Their Facebook pixel is tracking that. And this is what I showed you earlier. And their Facebook pixel is tracking it. And they, they put me in a custom audience. Who is the, what's the custom audience? What's the name of the custom audience? Website visitors. So what they were able to do right away, they didn't do it a day later. They didn't do it a, 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 a week later. Shit, they didn't even do it an hour later. A few minutes later, on Facebook, I end up seeing their ad. Why are they showing me an ad? Because I landed on their page and haven't bought. That's a custom audience. So they're showing ads to people who are engaging in their stuff. I would be showing ads to people who are watching your Monday interviews. What ads are we showing them? Ads on getting them to download the top 10 mistakes. Okay. So we'd have to start smaller. I mean, five bucks a day is what you'd want to start doing like five bucks a day. And you're not build that right now. Anyways. In fact, you're not build. Let's look at your billing date. So it's not like you have to come up with the Facebook ad money today. Like not even at all. Like let's see your billing date. What's the minimum on a Facebook? Like if we want to do it that way, can we do maybe instead of five on one product one thing divide half and do run the ad on two is that doable yeah for sure for sure you can you can break it up however you want like and that's why like that's what i was already going to do for you like i want to run a little bit on your week on your monday video to get some brand awareness and then run a little bit on your conversion one which is getting people to download your top 10 mistakes so look right now Okay, look, so, so we're at the 14th. You wouldn't see a bill until the September 30th. So if we ran at, that's why even if we ran at, at what, I mean, 10 bucks, 10 bucks a day times the next 15 days, for example, that's 150. So that 150 would be due on September 30th. Okay, I think after the um, September 30th, I think I can only afford, honestly, I can only afford a total of 150 for an added day a month. Yeah, no that's fine. That's where you start. And then after that, again, the whole objective is to get out that 10 tip mistakes, the top 10 mistakes. Once you start getting people in your funnel, once you start getting people on your email list, we have to start selling them something. That's the $47 product. So that's what I'm saying. It doesn't take many of those to be able to increase your budget over here. So do I, on the $47 product, my $47 product is really, um, it's my, it's where I ask them for, uh, if they need a feedback on their presentation, if they need to spice yep. up their presentation, yeah. um, click here um, for $47 for an hour, mm -hmm. which is nothing really. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You know, or, you know, and I think I'm thinking about maybe email, click here, and then once they do the download, I ask them to email the presentation ahead of time. Mm -hmm. And so that I will already know what the presentation is all about. And 
then when we meet, it's only for 45 minutes to an hour. Yes. Because one hour, a lot. it's my one hour, and that's a lot. Yeah. All um, that can be set up through Kartra. Like all 45, that. 45 Kartra. minutes. That's what I really want to do. 45 minutes. Oh. And I'll just give you my feedback and we record it. And you go back and implement it. That's it. That's it. All that's done through Kartra. All that is done through giving out, starting out by giving out the top 10 mistakes. It all starts there. That's why that's you have to just have your emails in place. I think one minute or two minutes maximum to do a video, just concentrate on it, do a video on yep. the top 10 mistakes. I mean, not the top 10 mistake. I can talk about one thing and, mm -hmm. um, and I'll go at the end. Click here to get download, get your free download. That's on it. The top 10 mistakes and, That's it. Okay. You do one video per week and we got to We got to run it. We got to run it. So right now I got to set up your new Kartra. I got to transfer everything over. I got to set up your, your audiences over here. I got to put the pixel in. I got to create a custom conversion. I have a lot to do right now. So let okay. me take care of all this and I'll email you later on today. Okay. Awesome. Okay, Christy. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm super excited. We're just getting started. Bye. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.